Chief in Newark, Fiona Jones, has lost her seat after being found guilty of falsifying her expenses during the general election campaign. She was sentenced to 100 hours of community service after being convicted at Nottingham Crown Court. There'll now be a by-election in Newark. It was considered a safe Tory seat until Labour won it with a majority of 3,000. Fiona Jones will go down in history for all the wrong reasons. The first MP in 140 years to be convicted of fiddling her election expenses. But as she left Nottingham Crown Court, she vowed to fight the verdict. Obviously I'm extremely disappointed and indeed very surprised about um, the results that you've all heard today. After consulting my legal team, I've made the decision to launch an immediate appeal. Even in the landslide of May 97, hers was an unlikely victory. Newark wasn't even on Labour's list of target seats. Fiona Jones was one of the new army of female MPs. She even once called herself a Blair babe. But soon after the election, one of the candidates suspected she'd spent double the legal limit of £9,000 and failed to declare the rest. He alerted the police. At the time of the general election, there was uh, clearly a lot of expenditure by all parties that the Labour Party expenditure was uh, much higher than the other parties and clearly seen to be by both the voters and the candidates. The Conservatives seized on the case as an example of Labour hypocrisy. Well, it's quite extraordinary that this comes from a party which was telling us at the last election it was going to introduce new high standards in public life. And here we see an offence which is the political equivalent of being caught with your hand in the till. There'll now be a by-election in May or June, a tough test for Tony Blair the Tories won't have a better chance. It's all a bit awkward for the Prime Minister, who today was on a visit to the North East. What do you think about Fiona Jones? Will you be taking any action? When he came to office, Tony Blair promised that Labour would abide by higher standards than the Tories. But this latest case of sleaze, the most serious yet to hit his party, shows that he's still got a long way to go. John Campfner, BBC News, Downing Street. A 41-year-old man has been found guilty 